Hi everyone, I'm Steven Yvorsky, also known as Art Jerk. In this video, I'm going to show you how I approach texture with charcoal. The methods I use in this video also applies to other media, including dry media and even wet media like oil paint and acrylic. I can go over that in more detail in another video, but for now, this demonstration is with charcoal pencils. Before we get into the instructional part of the tutorial, it should be noted that if you're watching this, you should make sure that you have a decent understanding of how to render values and control your materials, as well as utilizing shape finding techniques. I'll link a few of my other videos that go over those things in the video description. The first step in executing texture in your drawings is laying down the foundation values. These are the base transitions of dark to light. In this garlic, there are many clothes that will eventually need to be rendered and depicted, but we can go about this in a much more streamlined way and also a less overwhelming way. The background of this image is a semi-smooth type of texture. Smoothness is a texture that many of my students seem to struggle with, and this is for good reason. It takes some patience to achieve smooth texture and to achieve smoothness, you must work your values back and forth with black and white accordingly to get the right values. But you also have to have enough material on the paper so that it's not a chalky and rough texture. If you're struggling with this, please refer back to my tutorial on spheres. If this is a sticking point for you, it will cause issues with the rest of your the things that we'll be talking about in the video. As I'm showing here, what I'm doing is I am putting in the base level values for the garlic before I put in any textures. If we start with a simplified version of the shape and form, we can then tweak and subdivide out the smaller shapes and then pick out the details. The smaller shapes and textures will more easily be seen by you and you'll also have a clearer path to executing them on your drawing. For the rest of the video, I only increased the speed by 400%. If you would like to see it in real time, you can choose the 1 4th speed on YouTube. I could have technically sped up the video even faster, but I feel like understanding the amount of time you may need to put into your drawing to achieve a certain texture is as relevant as the other things I mentioned. Patience is truly a virtue, and if you are rushing through your drawing, you will not be able to achieve what you want. It's good to understand that. If you really want to skip through, no one's stopping you. Just know, though, I took approximately an hour on this drawing. For you, it may take longer, especially if you're not as comfortable controlling your materials. As for the rest of the video, sit back and enjoy. Feel free to ask questions in the comments section, and also suggest more things that you might want me to go over.